Welcome to Shadow Catcher video tutorial. Shadow Catcher is a way to project shadow over a background image. In truth the shadow is projected over a plane or another object that fake the background image shape. We need to turn on the production frame. Hit the scene instance. In the backdrop option choose map, then load the image that you want as your backdrop. We need to change some settings from the OPENGL display, so we can see the backdrop image in the assembler room. Turn off some grids, so you can see better the backdrop image. Let's add a primitive sphere and see how the render look like. Use a metal shader that can reflect the backdrop image to better simulate the real world. To faster render test, I will use the default settings. Note that there's no shadow now and no reflection in the sphere. Let's fix this. Carrier metal objects only reflect background images, so we need to add the same image from backdrop to the background option. This is a way to fake a real world environment. In a new test render you can now see the reflection in all your glory. The problem here is that in real world the reflect image isn't the same as the backdrop. That's why this is a fake reflection. For a real thing you need to use a high resolution HDRI image. To have the projected shadow we will add a primitive plane now. Without the shadow catcher shader in the plane this is like the render will look. Let's add the shadow catcher to the plane, so the only visible thing will be the projected shadow. You will find the shadow catcher in the top shader option. Just select it from lighting models. This only works in Kara version 7 or up. Now a final render with all settings. You can now do a lot of tweaks to get a better image in the final render. Try to low the shadow intensity, so the shadow can be more transparent. Other thing that you can do is to use the soft shadow option in the effects tab. This way the shadow will look much more real. Play with the light radius until you get the right value to what you want.
Now let's add some poser content. I will use the girl for to show what you can do using the shadow catcher in Kara version 7. You can work like a normal scene, only the ground will need to have the shadow catcher to receive the project shadow from the objects. Here is the final render with the girl 4. Thanks to watch this video tutorial. Don't forget to visit www.carrelaunch.com.